From a young age, Vladimir Baranov Rosine was well acquainted with contemporary innovations in European painting and, unable to resist the lure of Europe, he went to Paris in 1910. On his arrival there, he relinquished his Ukrainian birth name of Shulim Volf Baranov in favour of the more European-sounding Daniel Racine. The young artist was impressionable and revelled in his exposure to a diverse set of influences in the French capital. Prior to his arrival in Paris, Baranov Racine had already been working in the style of neo-expressionism with strong elements of fauvism, and while he flirted with cubism, he was not a slavish follower. His precocious talent enabled him to pick and choose aspects of different styles which appealed to him and during the period in which the offered lot was painted, Baranov Rossini's works combined Cubist and Cezanist influences with ideas he had taken from the masters of European modernism, Russian Cubo-Futurism and the avant-garde, as well as the colour theories of Robert Delaunay and Sonia Delaunay. An allusion to Cubism, together with a much more explicit Fauvist style, can be seen in the offered lot, Still Life. The composition consists of so vibrant a palette and vivacity of expression that it almost contradicts the essence of what constitutes a still life because of its inherent energy. The painting is not dated, but bears similarities to other still lifes produced by Baranov Rossine in the first half of the 1910s. The painting conveys a simultaneous and kinetic perception of the objects depicted, almost contradicting their static nature and placing them at the forefront of the composition. Every element on the canvas seems to have speed. The speed of the artistic hand in the brush strokes, the speed of the melding colours on the canvas, the speed of the plant growing on the table, and the table stretching its legs beyond the canvas. Indeed. The speed of the overall composition, which exerts a forceful impression on the viewer, the effect is overwhelmingly one of dynamism and energy, so redolent of the artistic legacy left by Barano Rossinet after his death in 1944. French Ships Departing the Black Sea by Ivan Vazovsky is a fine example of the artist's work, demonstrating why his oeuvre is so sought after by collectors. Famed in his lifetime, and probably one of the most famous Russian painters of the 19th century, Ivasovsky gained a body of international collectors from his twenties onwards. In 1842, when Ivasovsky met Turner in Italy, Turner was moved to write of the Russian artist and his painting, Your art is lofty and powerful, because you are inspired by genius. The present lot is from Ivasovsky's body of historical works, and appears to show French ships departing a port in the Black Sea. This most probably represents the departure of overseers in the Black Sea following neutralisation of the territory after the Peace of Paris in 1856 and the end of the Crimean War. French jolly boats can be seen in the harbour collecting passengers for transfer to three large ships anchored in the bay, which dominate the composition against a vast mountain range. The icy blue of the shallow waters is echoed in the shading of the gentle hills and then the mountains beyond. The scene is peaceful and imbued with the calm of ordered activity. Ivazovsky's ability to intimate both life-threatening drama and soothing tranquillity is indicative of his artistic genius, and it is little wonder he was so lauded in his lifetime. Nikolai Rerich's Signal Fires of Peace is a rare early work in which the artist reflects on the social and political changes of his time set in motion by the two Russian revolutions and the subsequent civil war that changed the course of Russian history for the remainder of the 20th century. Signal Fires of Peace is the most important painting in the small series inspired by these events. Two of the works from this series are currently part of the collections of the International Centre of the Rerichs and the State Russian Museum. Rerich spent the tumultuous years between 1916 and 1919 in Karelia. Captivated by the solemn and majestic beauty of the European North, Rerich studied Karelian Finnish legends and Scandinavian sagas. The destructive force of the social chaos which engulfed his country in these years had a profound effect on Rerich who believed in the redeeming quality of the cultural achievements and the progress of humanity. He observed the revolutionary turmoil from the peaceful calm of the North, amidst the virgin beauty of a landscape in which nature and people seemed to coexist in perfect harmony. The artist's spiritual transformation inspired the creation of a small but highly significant series of works. This is the largest of the works in the series that is directly connected with Rerich's theatrical plays of the same period and the only one painted on canvas. Here the landscape is, for the first time, interpreted as a meditative and mystical component of the work. Every element of the scene evokes feelings of peace, tranquility and harmony. It is evident that here, Rerich attempts to reconcile the eternal natural world with the rapidly changing world of catastrophic events and destabilizing changes brought on by humankind. The symbolic masterpiece Signal Fires of Peace is one of the most significant early works by the legendary Russian artist, directly inspired by the historic events of 1917 to 1918. The complex symbolism and the historical significance of this early masterpiece make it one of the most important discoveries of the season.
Nikolai Gerz's Male Nude is a rare example of an early work by an artist primarily known for his later paintings on monumental religious themes. Gerz completed Male Nude while a student at the Imperial Academy of Arts in St. Petersburg. Precisely rendered in the classical style, the painting was awarded a silver medal and bears the official seal of the Academy. The painting is inscribed, Non-matriculated student of the Imperial Academy of Arts, Nikolai Gerz, for the exam taking place in the Academy, 23rd of December, 1853. Honoured for this study, the award of the Silver Medal of the First Distinction. The Academy awarded the Silver Medal as the highest level of distinction for a work created by a pupil studying at the professional level. The Gold Medal was reserved solely for graduating students. Gerz, therefore, received the greatest possible honour and artistic achievement for his male nude, distinguishing the work as one of the cornerstones of the development of his career. Male nude is remarkable not only for the way it demonstrates Gerz's technical mastery as a painter, but for the rare opportunity to trace an early accomplishment by a historically significant Russian artist.